Today I'm going to go over my journey in creating a piece of propaganda that's been floating around the internet for a while. The first item I use is something that I've had for a while. I've been using it as a pop filter for my microphone, but I'm not sure of its original use. As an experiment, I wanted to try making a bigger screen for other patterns. So I gathered some wood that I had lying around and an Ikea mesh that I got when a friend was tossing some things out when he moved. I only have one pattern for now, so the smaller screen is going to have to do. The next item I purchased off eBay for 20 bucks. This, along with the ink, are the only parts of this process that I could not do DIY because I'm not a fucking chemist. The next item is the target medium. I'll be using a strip of denim that I found at Goodwill for 50 cents. For the screening tool, I'll be using a plastic squeegee that came with a smartphone protective screen to remove bubbles. A credit card will work just as well, but you really shouldn't be signing up for credit cards because debt is slavery, so find something else. This is a piece of Teflon that was purchased with the intent on making a void sticker remover, as demonstrated by AVE, video in the description. Its use here will be a strong backing for screen printing on. It was purchased at a flea market for a dollar. Off camera, I mixed an emulsion activation chemical that came with the kit. And now comes the application process. The key here is a smooth, even coating throughout the screen. Be sure to smooth out on both sides. I clean off the squeegee since it's the same tool that I'm going to be screening the ink with. Once evenly applied, I leave it to dry overnight. I covered mine with a shoebox to minimize light exposure, even though I was in the basement. UV light cures the emulsion, which we want to avoid up until we get the pattern placed on top of it. Back in the office, I separate a sheet of laminating paper that I stole from work and cut the sheet into a standard 8 by 11 size for my printer. I'm using a laser jet printer that I found at an Office Max dumpster. An inkjet printer should work just as well. In a pirated copy of Photoshop, I use the 8x11 preset with a repeating pattern down the paper. Okay, so my printer has its quirks and it prints one out of four prints like this, but when I found it, it had been left in a dumpster for dead, so I forgive its shortcomings. The reason for the repeating pattern is to double up and maximize the opacity of the pattern. The less light that shines through, the better. Make sure it is lined up and as flat as possible. Next, we expose the emulsion screen under a 40 watt bulb for 12 minutes. I cut a piece of glass from some scrap glass I had lying around using my glass cutter. This keeps the pattern flat against the emulsion. If you don't have any scrap glass lying around, you can just go to your nearest glass bank and get some. Running the screen under some water for 5 minutes will remove the uncured emulsion material underneath the pattern. Apparently 12 minutes wasn't enough, so back to the fucking drawing board. Using the emulsion remover that comes with the kit, we can clean up the screen for reuse. But wear a glove just in case you accidentally touch your wiener without washing or something. Once it's dry, it's time for step one again. Application and drying. A thin, smooth application, blah, 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 blah. You already saw all this. This application was much thinner this time. And as a backup to minimize downtime, I also did the same thing on the IKEA mesh. Drying was done under a fan to speed up the process, because I ain't got all fucking weekend. This time, we'll be exposing the pattern for 15 minutes instead of 12. Once the 15 minutes have passed, we take our screens out and blast the pattern with piss. Success! Both patterns washed out great and are ready for drying. The initial smaller screen had better detail in a pattern due to its finer mesh size. Here they are side by side. I place both screens next to a fan to dry off the water from the emulsion wash off. My next step was sectioning off the pattern with some masking tape. This allowed a clean print in the areas exposed by the curing process. Now the fun part, printing. Apply a small strip of ink 
across the side of the screen away from the pattern. Using the squeegee, we do what's called flooding the screen, applying a light pressure to spread the ink evenly across the pattern. Once the ink is spread, we then run the squeegee across the screen with a downward pressure on the sample fabric. Repeat the same direction as many times as needed to cover the whole pattern. Lift up and there we have it, our first propaganda prototype. Now it's time to make the actual propaganda item. So these next few steps, I used a video tutorial I found online. I didn't shoot any video because half the time I was trying to figure out how to use my wife's automatic needle machine without having to fucking read the manual, but God knows I can't fucking do that. Apply pressure straight across the pattern multiple times. Final step is curing with a heat gun from Harbor Freight, seven bucks. Repeat for the other side once that side is cured. And there you fucking have it, a piece of propaganda that you can take to your wage slave job and put no fucking money in because they don't pay you enough because they don't value labor. But whatever, you can do whatever you want with it.